Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm back with the third uh, Mercedes-Benz VIP line uh, fragrance. And I told you I'm going to do back-to-back -back five so they stay next to each other. So it's easier for people to find when they click on my channel. So this is going to be another uh, sample review. Thanks to Bilal Bhai once again. I have uh, two more after this to go. And uh, hopefully then the series will be done. <clears throat> and I'm really sorry about my voice. Uh, I'm having uh, kind of like a cold uh, slash, you know, block nose and stuff like that uh, for last few days due to the seasonal change. Hopefully you can hear me. And uh, I will try to describe this fragrance to you. Okay, so I have given it a fair bit of uh, wearing. And I know what I want to say about this. It's uh, one of the creation from Olivier Crest. So a few... Um, not declaration few things just uh, to clarify first i don't have a full bottle as you can see i have the samples so i'm really sorry about uh, not being able to show you the full presentation they have really nice bottle colors and bottle design comes with a cap it looks like the vip sorry mercedes-benz club line but they do not have the built-in atomizer they have the cap and the proper sprayer and the thing is they have this nice touch every single fragrance on the five in the line will say the name of the perfumer in front uh, many most of the companies do not bother so I think they honored sort of like uh, the perfumers in a way uh, so that is great uh, gesture by Mercedes-Benz and the thing is Mercedes-Benz is a very luxury car manufacturer okay from Germany so what they do they make tough cars you know like Audi and uh, Benz they have very uh, sort of let's say not the most expensive I would say they are more expensive than them but they are more on the luxury sedans you know or <clears throat> the SUVs you know, so the fragrances they do, car, I, I think I would categorize this as a car manufacturing company fragrance, like Bentley, Ferrari. Uh, they also have, I think, Nissan also makes fragrances. So they have quite a few. So I would try to compare this fragrance with a few other fragrances that are similar to my nose, but not the same. And Olivier Crisp is a fantastic nose. You guys know he had made a lot of fragrances like Versace Menu Fresh. I hope I got that right. And then Black Excess and lot other you know he's like a classic so let's see what you get and these are uh, sprayable so really really good i mean for application thanks bill by once again here we go and i believe uh, ben daniel did uh, unboxing on each of this fragrance on his channel you can check it out if you want to see full presentation and <clears throat> i think only one or two other reviewers did the this line talk i think uh, augie did in fire and spicy you can check it out okay so let's see Let's just go on spray. This fragrance, I think it's a, I would classify this as a spicy, woody aromatic. Uh, this is good for winter time. And this is going to be great for people. <coughs> Sorry about that. The fragrance uh, causes a little bit of disturbance, you know, in coastal system. Yeah, I can smell it. So, this is for people who love spicy and woody fragrances. This is not for everybody. This is good for winter. And uh, once you like, you know, kind of like a more daring, more... Uh, not gonna say niche side of things but if you like a little bit more darker fragrances a little bit more smokier or uh, let's say you like a little bit more than what you used to like before like let's say more than freshies you know so this is the kind of fragrance you want to explore so this fragrance will cost you around 39 to 59 dollars if you're looking for discounters and uh, retail would go really high it's around 100 dollars mark uh, we have this in perfume world you can also go and try i think so the fragrance, uh, first of all, it's very nice. Uh, most of the people in Fragrantica said this is their most favorite in the whole line of five. And you can see for good reasons why. I actually I haven't decided which ones I like first. The last video, when I finish the fifth, I'll let you know which ones are my favorite from five to one, okay? So this fragrance right here, the whole essence of the fragrance is not that daring, but it gives you sort of like a spicy, woody, element you know it has star anise it has a uh, Sichuan pepper it has a uh, think uh, woody teak wood and a few other notes you know let me check the other notes um, I think I cover most of them the more prominent they has cardamom juniper berries and I think they have uh, ginger and ambroxan cashmere wood and teak wood so you do not see that much of freshness or fruitiness going on anywhere so that means it leans more towards uh, woody so if you like woody fragrances like pure wood by Thierry Mugle, if you like the opening kind of reminds me of this one it's kind of daring uh, it has more woody but just a slight bit of it reminds me of Gucci Guilty and this is absolute this has that official Savlon and Dettol note but this one 
that I'm wearing right now, it doesn't have that. But it does have that woody uh, masculine element of this, you know, in the opening. Then uh, I would say uh, many people are uh, gonna see if I say so. This is not a clone of this fragrance, but very similar. Gucci Purum. If you know this one, Benki Form and Absolute, another car company fragrance. These are very identical almost, but Gucci Purum one is a little bit more, I would say, refined than Bentley Man for Absolute. Man Absolute is very nice, got the pencil shaving thing going on. So these are very good. So also remind you a little bit of uh, Cartier Declaration if you like this kind of fragrances. And if you are a fan, of a slight bit of spice bomb you might like this and D squared line you know those woody fragrances so i'm not going to call this a clone of any fragrance that i see but it has familiar vibe because i smelled many many fragrances uh, of woody and spicy nature so where do you see this wearing i think if it's a uh, winter time or transition between uh, summer to winter time this is going to be perfect outdoorsy scent if you let's say wearing a leather jacket uh, you're wearing your leather boots and perhaps you're going to go for a horse riding you know it reminds me a little bit of that you know like a horse being tied to the you know the stable or somewhere is woody logs you know you tie your horse so it gives you the sort of feel of that so the thing is fragrance is done very nicely <clears throat> it's good designer quality fragrance some people say borderline niche because it has an element of uh, kind of spicy uh, daring side like let's say John Barbados artisan uh, dark no, not artisan dark rebel dark rebel rider if you like those fragrances this is gonna be right up there performance is very very good six hours I got from this longevity uh, projection it's um, one hour after that it's somewhere around you it's gonna make a great office scent as well very masculine spicy uh, I think the age for this correct age is like 30 plus okay I don't see many young folks are a big fan of this because it's the star anise, the juniper berry, um, Sichuan pepper. The pepper it's kind of makes it very very masculine. So let's see if you know like Aramis, you know Aramis fragrances. This is gonna be easy love. So I would suggest this uh, for you to try. Uh, you can definitely give it a try. Get a sample if you're in Bangladesh from Bilal Sharifai. You can see what the fragrance is all about. Perhaps if you are interested, then you can buy the whole bottle. But this whole line out of this five. I feel like every single fragrance has something special about them, even if they are very simple composition, but they have chosen or rather designated five prominent perfumers to create something a little bit more uh, special in their line, I would say. Uh, so this is a good fragrance. Out of the three so far that I reviewed, this is kind of different, you know, the previous two were fresh, you know, like Infinite, not Infinite, uh, I forgot the name already, <laughs> big, big names. Um, so overall, Olivier Crisp is a renowned perfumer and he created something really nice. But it does remind me of some fragrance that I know, okay? So if you like the fragrance that I showed you, definitely give it a try. Uh, for cooler months, I think this is going to make a good fragrance. It has good presence as well. I think winter time will last about 7 to 8 hours as well. So give it a try. A VIP Club Infinite Spicy. I'll rate this overall 8 out of 10 for the quality. And the bottles are really, really pretty on these, okay? So uh, I think, oh, one other thing, this fragrance will come in uh, 50 and 100 ml, if I'm not mistaken. So you can choose a smaller bottle, bigger bottle, uh, whatever is your necessity. But usually, if you're never going to finish, if you have a huge collection, always go for a smaller bottle or a partial or a decan. You can actually finish, you can go through them and it will be more practical. So that's it. That's the review for Infinite Spicy by VIP Club Mercedes Benz. Sorry for once again for the voice. I'll see you soon, hopefully. And uh, two more to go, then we are done with this slide. Everybody have a nice day. Thanks, Bilal Bhai, once again. And thanks to all the people who are praying good luck for me. Gabe, uh, Brett, uh, Andrila, thank you so much for your prayers and thoughts, okay? I love you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.